Okay, so let's switch to the arrangement view and click on the MIDI track and go to our plugin devices, choose the massive synthesizer and drag it across into the MIDI track. There we go, that's massive, it's loaded up now. We press the in button to make sure that the tribase is going to be able to send MIDI information to the synthesizer. And the next thing we do is we load a preset called Massivator, that one. Okay, now I'm just going to make a few changes to this preset. I'm not going to explain what I'm doing, but I will in a later video. But for now, what you want to do is basically turn the riff off like that, set the tube to full and the edge to full. Then you're going to want to go to the voicing tab and set trigger to legato triller. And finally, in the oscillator tab, you're going to want to set the glide time to about that much. And I'll be explaining these parameters further in future videos. Okay, now the main purpose of this video is to show you how you can control some of these uh, parameters from the tribase touch panel. And we're going to be controlling two. The first one is the filter cutoff, which is going to um, drastically change the sound. And what we want to do is change the position of this knob depending on how far our finger is on the X axis of the touchpad. So to do that, it's really simple. You just come over here to the MIDI button. You press the MIDI button so it turns blue. And then you press the control. Okay, now my screen's quite small, but if you move it out of the way, you can see that now it says filter one cut and that's selected. And then what you do on the tri base is you press the bottom half of the touchpad. And now you can see a numbers come up and then we press the MIDI button again. And now what we want to do is we want to set another parameter to the Y axis of the touchpad. Now the one we're going to want to change is actually this one. Um, it's this number here. Basically, we want to adjust this number depending on where our finger is on the Y axis of the touch panel uh, so that the oscillator will oscillate faster or slower. So it's exactly the same process with one minor difference. You press the MIDI button, you press the control, and again, you can see the control is showing there. And then you press the top half of the touchpad. So you can see that a different number has come up there. And then you press the MIDI button to turn it off. And that's done. Thank you.